All right, so, uh, so why Elon? So not the most enduring sounding question. Uh, I know some fellow Truett Center staff members were a little concerned with just why Elon, but uh, so many of you are probably wondering if I'm about to give you a cookie cutter admission sales pitch for Elon uh, with the question why Elon. None of you are prospective students. I promise I won't do that. Plus, we could all probably, you know, repeat it verbatim by now. Um, anyway, you know, that was the question, why Elon was the question asked me by my family and friends four years ago when I decided to be part of the 2015 class. There were schools much better known that had accepted me, and my parents especially couldn't fathom why I wouldn't go to a William & Mary, a Richmond, or a Davidson. With the days till graduation dwindling and the number of texts and emails from Truett Center staff piling up asking me what, what my enduring question would be, I figured what better question than the one I battled on a regular basis back when I was just a South Jersey boy before I could grow a beard or knew what a hush puppy was. My answer was simple and has yet to change. The people. Now imagine you're around a bunch of seniors in high school all bragging about their future schools, whether it be academic programs, campus life, sports programs, you name it. The thing I was bragging about was the people. Now in reality, this was pretty ridiculous since I only knew one person at Elon Well and had met only a few more at Fellows Weekend. Those who know me even a little bit know that I pretty much make all decisions with my gut and my heart. Gets me in trouble a lot, not the smartest thing, I wouldn't suggest it. Anyway, I just had this feeling very early on that Elon would be the people that I wanted to surround myself with. And in the end, I knew I was right. The simple fact that the people at Elon are special is the heart of my enduring question. Over the next several minutes, through a reflection of my experiences, I want to illustrate that my answer to the question, why Elon, couldn't have been proven to be more true. I was lucky enough to come to Elon three days early as a leadership fellow. Now imagine you take a group of around 25 leaders fresh out of high school. So these are the people who literally you know, had to control everything in high school. They don't know how to delegate. I had a twin sister, I was one of them, and I had a twin sister the exact same way, so it was just a mess at all times. Uh, never really worked in the same organizations, and both of us had to you know, always be in charge. But anyway, so you have a group of 25 of them. Uh, I thought it was bad just having one, and, and you, you have them develop themselves, develop themselves as a team, complete projects, or simply hang out. And, and in reality, it really shouldn't work. However, we had people like Steve Mancarini and Rex Waters that you know, found a way to teach, you know, 25 naive, power-hungry 18-year-olds how to coexist. This is a group of people that have consistently inspired me to be better. Within this program, I have seen people do good and give back in ways you just don't see on every college campus. The students I've been lucky enough to call peers have inspired me simply to never quit and give the people you lead everything you got and nothing less. The next group of people I'd like to address are the past and present staff of the Truett Center. It isn't every day you find people willing to stand firm for what they believe in when so many others simply choose not to broaden their horizons, learn, and coexist. Choosing to do, to do the right thing and firmly protect that mission is one of the best lessons I have ever learned. The inspiration I have received from the Truett Center staff is simple, yet something so many people need to gain the courage to do. I'd like to especially thank Jan Register for putting up with me, and when I say that, she has really, really, really put up, she's up there laughing about it now, put up with me. Is anyone else here a, a supervisor on campus for anything? Anyone? You oversee students? Where at? And you would have fired me after a semester, maybe a month max. I was hoping Steve Mancarini was going to be here. I'd say he would have gotten rid of me in a week. But uh, thank you, Jan. But she kept me around, and you know, it's not exaggerating when I say she is simply the kindest human being I've ever met. So switching gears up a little bit here, I want to talk about Sigma Phi Epsilon Fraternity, which was founded in 1901 under the principles of virtue, diligence, and brotherly love. Upon its creation, founder Cardin Ashton Jenkins stated that this fraternity will be different. The North Carolina Mu chapter of SIGEP has embraced that philosophy. For those of you that don't know, the brothers of SIGEP at Elon have a balanced man system as opposed to a traditional pledge or associate member model. In a time when fraternities are being consistently shown in a negative light, I could not be more proud to be a member of SIGAP at Elon. This organization has people that understand what being part of something bigger than them is all about. Over the past four years, I have seen men who are committed to taking this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be part of a truly outstanding and unique organization and use it to better, the men around, or better those around them. The money that has been raised for our philanthropy, the Boys and Girls Club, speaks for itself. But the connection and commitment I have seen these men make with those in need of their assistance could fill up novels. Whether it be running Relay for Life's food operation, completing 24 hours of Elonthon, 
or being the most sought after guest at the Boys and Girls Club or Champs Mentors, these men are proof that the American college fraternity has value to much more than the members simply within its fraternal bond. For many in the room, Greek life is probably not something you have taken the time to look into on this campus. Whether you are a non-affiliated student, professor, or faculty member, I implore you to take another look at an organization that has done so much in developing some of the most diligent, empathetic, and high contributing members of Elon's community. Sigma Phi Epsilon has inspired me to always strive to be a part of organizations with a focus on making those within, and more importantly, around them better. I know for a fact that I would not be standing up here today with the same view of the people at Elon without SIGEP. Finally, there's one more group that has shown me coming to Elon for the people was more than the right decision. I have been lucky enough to have a group of close friends that for the most part, with a few adoptions along the way, were randomly put into a Dan Lee I flat together our freshman year. By the way, freshman was a word that was okay to say four years ago. It was reserved, first year was a boarding school term only, I think. Uh, but anyway, those of them here, they know who they are, and for lack of a better term, and since I'm all dressed up, feeling important today, and I have the podium blocking me, uh, I will call them my entourage for the, for the next minute or so. Um, but in all reality, I couldn't be more serious when I say they have shown me what true friendship is. I have always believed that only a life lived for others is a life worthwhile, and that belief probably wouldn't have remained true without this group of people. The hardest part about leaving Elon will be not seeing them every single day. These are the people that inspire me with loyalty and love to do the big things that I can only hope have made an impact or have made a difference in people's lives. So when you hear the word enduring, what are some synonyms that come to mind? Any takers on that? Synonyms for enduring. Osh. Timeless. What do you think, Chris? Thank you. For me, I think of lasting, durable, and persistent. And the same holds true for my view of the people at Elon. While our popularity and campus will continually grow, I believe the type of people that walk under these oaks will endure. I challenge those of you who are either an underclassman or faculty and staff member to think hard about the people you are inspiring or want to inspire around this university. I firmly believe all of you are impacting someone for the better. If you weren't, you simply wouldn't be here, or you have the ability to impact someone for the better and you just haven't yet. The four groups I mentioned today were just a highlight of those that inspired me. Countless other professors, students, community members, even Newman Lumen speakers have made me a better person and I challenge you to continue the tradition of bettering others that the people of this university so graciously did for me. The people I have encountered over the past four years have not only cared for me and taught me, but inspired me to be better, to want more and constantly live my life for others. Four years ago, I chose Elon for the people. There hasn't been a day when there wasn't a person on this campus letting me know I made the right decision. It's been an honor. Thank you.